YouTube Red Viking Trucker. It is a uh, Wednesday night. It feels like a Saturday. It's a Wednesday night. I'm down here in Houston starting a 34 reset and then uh, heading back uh, to probably Laredo after the reset to pick up a load and head back to the Carolinas. This video is going to be about two subjects. The first subject, I do a lot of talking in a lot of my videos about the personality types that this business kind of requires to be in it. And uh, what I did is, you'll see if you go to the redvikingtrucker.com website, I put up a link under the useful links section of the icons. Just hover over that, it has a drop down menu, and go to the personality profile. And you'll see the disc profile free that you can take on Tony Robbins' site. And uh, I have the link, takes you right to the page. You can do your profile, they'll email you the results. Or you can, I think it actually pops up right away and then you can download it, which I did. And I'm actually gonna post my uh, results on the same page as the personality profile link so that you guys can see how I rate it. Because I rate super, super independent, super focused on results. Uh, I can be either super social or super non-social. I'm, I'm about 50-50 either way. But I'll show you what my perf my profile looks like. Because for me, this business is, is perfect. For, for me, especially at my age with no kids at home. Um, it's perfect. You know, I left alone. It's a, it's a self-employed mindset. I mean, I was self-employed for so many years. You know, I used to joke that I actually became unemployable because when I lost my real estate, I'm like, man, how, it's going to be so tough going back and trying to work for somebody. This has been a pleasant change compared to what I was expecting. So go check your profile out. Go do it. There's no fee. You can do a $250 assessment, but don't do that one. Do the free one. You have to scroll down the page a little bit. You'll see the, the start your profile and do it. I think it takes about 10 or 15 minutes. And do it honestly. See where you where you work, you know, where you work out at and where it flushes out at. And, and know that, for me, the, this business has been perfect other than the income. I want, I want the income to be back above six figures, which will be about another you know, couple months. But it's, it's happening. Um, big plans. But check that out. And then the second subject we're going to talk about, if you're watching the channel, support the channel. Download our car buyer and car lease or app called Cars R Pro, three words, on Google Play and iTunes. You've, you've never seen anything like it. It is the best car buyer or car leaser calculator you've ever seen. We have a patent pending. You can also download it straight from the website if you don't want to go to Google Play or iTunes. Full disclosure, it is a 99 cent download, but I hope my videos are providing 99 cents worth of value. And then please, if you do download it, review it on one of those two uh, sites. And then also please share it to your social media. Help us build that business. I'm building an app for the truck business and I'm also building a, a product for the truck business. Those two things are in creation right now because I'm a creator, that's what I do. But support the channel, now back to the rest of the video. Is these four-wheelers and accidents. I've had, um, I've had two very close calls for accidents in the last two weeks driving. I'm a lot more focused on the distance now. I start paying attention to things even further away than I used to after my time driving this truck, especially when you're fully loaded and you're close to 75, 78, 79,000 pounds. This truck does not stop on a dime. A little bit easier to stop when you're 35, you know, 38, 40,000 pounds. You get pushing up to 75, 79, this thing is a behemoth to stop. It's like trying to stop the Titanic, um, which ended up hitting something and sinking. But these two accidents, or potential accidents, the first one, I am coming through Atlanta, which I always hate coming through Atlanta during any part of the day, rush hours especially. But I was coming through Atlanta, coming down 85, 285 South, about to jump on 85 South. And uh, so I'm coming down 285 and about to jump on 85 South. And I'm getting on the exit ramp and it's a two lane ramp and I'm in the left hand lane. And I'm doing, I'm slowing down to 45 miles an hour because that's what the speed limit was based on coming around the turn. And I'm in the left hand lane. And you can go straight and stay on uh, 285 and keep going around the city. Well, a small little car looked like the, you know, maybe a Mazda 3. I saw him and he was starting to go straight and then he stopped, put on his brakes, almost caused an accident for the car behind him. He pulled over to the little triangle area that was between the two exit and the other lane going straight. He pulled in the middle of that and just stopped. And I saw him, so I started paying attention to him, you know, very carefully, but I'm also watching traffic because I had traffic all around me. 
as I'm getting towards the exit ramp, almost where he was about maybe 100 feet in front of me, he starts to dart like he was going to try and get in front of my truck and get up the exit ramp before I got there. And I'm only 100 feet away, maybe 150. And I'm doing about 45 miles an hour. And he started to pull out, so I start putting the brakes on, and he stops. And he stops with about two feet to spare before he hits the white the white line that, that he's over on then in, into my lane from this driver's side. He stops. And I keep moving forward, still conscious of him, but I'm also trying to watch traffic come in this direction. And I get within about 50 feet of him, and this is all happening like this. That's the other thing too. Once you start getting that close, your response time better be focused. Then he tries to pull out again, like I can make it is what he's thinking, I'm sure. And he pulls out and literally now he's about a foot past the white line, impeding on my, on my space. And he stops his car almost completely when he realizes I'm too close. My first thought was at this point, I have to keep going straight because if I hit him from the left, it's his fault. But if I try to veer over, I'm gonna hit all these cars over here and cause a problem. It was instantaneous, it was like that. I'm like, I, I, can't, I, I can't maneuver because I've got him to my left and I'm gonna hit him if he stays where he is. And I've got cars you know, going by me and I'm not gonna veer that direction and cause this other pileup. I'm better off clipping him and pushing him off to the side. And it's happening like that, and you know, but I'm pretty calm under pressure because of my upbringing. At the very last minute, he turned his wheel and straightened up so his front of his car and the side of his car, his passenger side was perfectly perpendicular to the line. And I missed him. I missed him by maybe three inches. My, my in-cab cameras went off, so I'm sure my safety department would watch all that. But there was literally, you know, him, you could see him making his decision because these four-wheelers, have <laughs> they are crazy. That was the first one. I missed him by about three inches. I kept on moving down the road. The second one, I'm pulling out of our terminal and you come out of this uh, back road onto a state road and then the interstate is about a quarter mile away. So, I, and when you come out of this, this state road, turning right, you have to turn wide. You have to come out and turn wide because it's a very small state road. And I look down the hill and there's a car about 500 feet down the hill coming up and it's a 35, I think it's 40, 40 mile per hour uh, state road right there, coming up to the interstate. So I start pulling out thinking, well, they've got plenty of time to see me. By the time they get up close to me, I'm gonna already have made the turn. I just gotta get stay in the right-hand lane to get back on the interstate, what I'm thinking. So I make the right-hand turn, I swing wide, I'm out in the center, center lane of the divide of the, the turn lane, I'm in that lane bringing my trailer back into the right lane to get on the interstate another 150 yards up the road. This car, when I looked in my rear view mirror as I'm coming around and straightening, straightening up, I look in my mirrors and the girl that's driving the car, again a small car, I mean my trailer would have crushed her. I'm turning back, my trailer is in, it's halfway in that lane that I'm moving back over to, my turn signal's on. She is like this with her phone driving. So she's not even looking at me. You can see her in the rear view mirror because she's right on my edge. She's within now about 15, 10 feet of my back bumper of my trailer and I'm in her lane, even getting more in her lane. And she's like this looking at her phone, doing whatever she's doing, updating her Facebook profile. And I, I kid you not, she looked up and saw my trailer and the phone went flying. She grabbed the wheel and she starts honking at me like I've done something wrong. And it went from this to just going crazy on the horn for about 10 seconds. And I kept on coming over once she saw me and she backed up and, and slowed down, or she, she backed off and slowed down. She didn't back up. And I got in the turn lane and made the rest of my turn. I was already in her lane. These four wheelers do not pay attention. It's your responsibility almost to think for them and you'll get better at that, but it is crazy, the stuff you'll see. It has given me such an appreciation for staying off your phone because you see people go by you holding the steering wheel in four lanes of traffic and they're updating their, their Facebook profile or they're doing whatever they're doing. It's right here, you know, and it is absolutely insane. I understand. Matter of fact, this week coming up, uh, I think I was coming up or down, I was going down 65, down towards uh, the coast and a truck had run off the road into the woods, rolled over, dropped all its, its, its cargo, 
and they had narrowed the lane to one lane which had blocked traffic for like uh, probably 15, 18 miles which is always horrible. And it's uncanny how when you get up to those kind of wrecks it's normally always an 18 wheeler involved at some point. But there was another car parked further ahead of him that was damaged so I don't know if he hit him, they, he hit him, they hit him, not sure but these four wheelers do not pay attention. And these phones and this social media has them just wrapped up so I understand very much how important it is to think for them. So that's been this video. Do your personality profile, check yourself out, see where you fit. That'll also help you choose whether you wanna drive uh, as a solo driver or a drive team, and then make a good decision based on that. And then secondly, when you get out here, start looking down the road. Looking, you know, you gotta be always gazing and seeing. It, it's crazy what, what happens out here, and it happens like that. Because people think, since their car stops fast, that this truck must stop fast. They have no comprehension. So that's my video for tonight. So if you like the videos, please subscribe, like, comment, and share. You can reach me at support at redvikingtrucker.com or at the phone number you see below. Text me first at the phone number below. None of us get out of here alive. I don't know what you're waiting on. Red Viking Trucker is out.